Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kara, and today I am here with Ion. <laughs> yeah, I noticed some of you guys in the comments uh, not using my real name, but I'll have you know, I do not dissolve in water, okay? <laughs> and I do not give away electrons. All my electrons are my own, so I don't want to hear it. It's Ian, get it right. <laughs> He does have a weird spelling to his name, I-A-I-N. I personally like it, it's... It's I-I-N, okay? <laughs> if you want to be technically correct, I-I-N. Is it it's Scottish, right? Or, yeah. Yeah, Scottish for... For John. John, okay. So you can That's call beside the point, Ian though. Ian or John. Anyway, so today we are here in Mars Hill, which is a small little town north of Asheville by about... 15, 20, 20 minutes. minutes or so. Yeah. yeah, probably more like 20 minutes. And today we are here for first Friday in June. So they have this every month. I believe may, may, may have, may have been the first, um, first Friday of this year. Maybe it was April. I'm not sure, but every first Friday of the month, they have this first Friday event where a lot of different shops and restaurants and vendors are open a little bit later than they normally would be. I believe there's music downtown also, and it's just a really fun time to get out on the town and see some of the locals, local businesses. So we are going to go take a walk around and see what we can find. Okay, apparently there's music and ice cream. Yeah, we did see that. There was ice cream. There's a no. sign for it, and fun. Fun, fun, fun music Generic. and ice cream. So. so we're gonna see what that's about. Yep, all right, catch you guys soon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm this tall. Yes. Yeah. That would, and my head is twice the I'm size no of yours. Smirk. That's okay. So Ian, he wants credit for this. Ian just found <laughs> this poster that says, um, where, where did it say it? Oh yeah, open in the public, $5 escape room today. So it's not really applicable for you, but I'm guessing they would do this probably every first Friday. Um, at 5.30 and 7 for only $5, which is really, really cheap for an escape room. See, I'll look show at you. how excited she is. Yeah. <laughs> that could be you. You could yes. be that excited. That could be you. little area in the museum where you can dress up. Look how cute you are. <laughs> Do you want to put on another one? No. no? <laughs> yeah, put that on. <laughs> oh, okay. There you go. <laughs> no, you just need a spear. Or a, uh, what do they call those? Um, Drought adjusting stick. Yeah, that's a good look for you, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. wandering around town now we just saw some of the vendors went to the museum as you saw and we found here the uh, Chandler Mountain Farm there's like a little photo shoot that you can take with the alpacas which I think is really really cute so let me show you this I'm gonna go into the Hickory Nut Gorge Brewer Food Briffer <laughs> <laughs> All right, I haven't had anything to drink yet, so. 
what you'll be saying after you come here. So we just came into this little store called The Wild Violet and they have a lot of like eco-friendly natural items. So let me just show you a couple of them. Like they have these um, biodegradable like scrub brushes. Um, yeah, a variety of different things. One thing that we use a lot are the sponge cloths. So like these kind of things, which we use frequently for um, like washing dishes and things like that way easier and way better um, for the environment than paper towels. So that's something that we really use uh, quite a bit, pretty much every day. And I've heard really good things about the beeswax wraps as well, like these kind of things. So yeah, let me show you a little bit more of what is in the shop. They also have kind of areas where you bring your own containers, so they have um, like bulk food, bulk food section, and also um, different spices. So let me show you. Blue dude, blue moon, kind of mysterious, shaded by someone I'm not really into. Do you need to fix it? Talking bullshit It's hard to see you when your eyes look dull Who's gonna save you? Who's gonna make you? Not So we, um, as you can tell, it's dark, obviously. We kind of spent a little bit more time than we initially thought we would, at least than I thought for yep. First Friday. Even though it's a really small town, there's a lot to do on First Friday. Like every business is open, there's music playing in every cafe and shop as you saw. There's just a lot of cool stuff to check out. So we are finally eating dinner at like, I don't know, nine o'clock or something. Mm -hmm. um, we just got takeout from the Stack House, which yep. is right downtown. And it smells delicious. I got uh, the veggie burger. What sauce is that? Is that jam? Uh, check their menu and find I don't out. Know. Yeah, I got, <laughs> uh, so here you go. I got veggie burger, kind of covering your face. 
I got the veggie burger with fries. I was between that and they had sliders, which I haven't had in forever. Maybe I should have gotten that, I don't know. But Ian, what'd you get? I got uh, grilled chicken. There's only one grilled chicken sandwich in the whole menu, so yep. that's the one. It so. has pineapple, onion, lettuce, tomato, pickle, all grilled onto a chicken sandwich. And mine, I chose fries to come with it, and his came with a salad, so yeah, they have a bunch of different side options also, and it was really Not okay. too expensive. We have light. Oh, look we at are now light. lit up. Okay, street light just came on. Um, yeah, it was really inexpensive. I don't think they charged extra for anything. It was twenty five dollars for two burgers and yeah. a side salad. So, in twenty twenty two terms, that's a quite a good deal. Yeah, and they don't charge extra for fries, which yes, I know a lot amen. of places do, which is really annoying. I wish pe people would stop doing that. But anyway. We had a really nice evening. I hope that you guys enjoyed kind of touring around town with us. I am not sure what part of town or what town will tour next, but if you have any recommendations, I was thinking maybe Hendersonville, um, but if you guys have a recommendation that you want us to film next, leave it in the comment section down below. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video, subscribe if you are not yet already, and I will see you very soon in the next one. See ya.